All right, folks, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today, we got a bunch of uh, painting projects here on the farm. Uh, as you can imagine with the outbuildings, cabin, decks, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, I had an old uh, five gallon uh, sprayer that we would use, but it's 20 plus years old and everything just keeps breaking on it and clogging up. And a lot of the stuff we're doing now is like touch up or smaller jobs. Uh, that's why we were looking into getting a, a airless uh, paint sprayer. And the cool thing about this, as you know, we love DeWalt products. And this is one of the airless paint sprayers that takes the 20 volt DeWalt batteries, the Max XR Lithium. So that I was super excited to hear about that. And uh, I think this is gonna be perfect because then I could use it with all my DeWalt tools, the batteries, we'll be able to interchange them and you can use bigger batteries uh this one i believe comes with uh two of the 20 volt um two amp hour batteries there and uh i think it comes with a chart or a charger as well but what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll go through it so i'll let my wife take over from there it comes in a nice case look at that Ooh pretty sweet nice that'll be good for storing it and stuff I think you leave it right side up here there we go and this is the unboxing <laughs> all right so there's the spray gun itself pump armors okay so it comes with a uh, freeze protectant uh four fluid ounce of pump iron which i also got a big bottle of it here uh and that that's to run it through after you clean it uh to prevent any corrosion uh from building up in there so when you get done painting everything uh you you fill this you know a little bit with water and then you put some of this in there i'll have to read the directions on exactly how much i'm not sure maybe just put some in a dab or two who knows? We'll, we'll look at the directions and uh, we'll figure that out. But that's for cleaning out and to prevent corrosion. So it comes with a little one. Three extra and the one that is already in there. So four containers and then two of these little parts that go up here that you can replace because they're plastic and they sometimes break. So you have those. Yeah. And then, what is this the charger? Oh, sweet. Yep. Yep. So it did charger. come with another charger. The Walt, of course, the best. And then these must be the batteries. Uh, compact, nice little batteries, keep it light. All right. Another one. And nice. obviously, you got to go ahead and throw these on the charger, and yeah. that's what we'll do now. And then the directions. Everything All right. you need. Cool, so this is a nice little carrying nice case and holder for it. Got some pockets in there. Painting on the go. Yeah. Alright, so it comes with a FFL LP tip 514. And the good thing about these is the for clogging or anything like that. Obviously, if you're using different paints and stuff, um, all you got to do is just reverse this and you can clear your clog and then turn it back and you're ready to spray again. So it's that simple. So I like that. Comes with a pressure control here. You start on the lowest pressure and then you can work your way up to get the finish that you want. Yeah, so you got a nice even spray, a nice. consistent, con consistent and constant even spray. <laughs> And once again, you got the three different types here. You got the ultra corded, you have the ultra corded cordless, which is the one we have here, and then the ultra max. The ultra max uh, can be used with flammables. Uh, as you see here, it says sprays water and mineral spirits, um, base materials only, no flammables. This is the FFL tip 514. You can get different tips for different types of spray and different types of paint. And how much does this hold? This holds 32 ounces. So inside here, it does have the triple piston triax pump, and that's so 
you can take this out and replace it if something happens to it it's meant to be ease of use and you don't have to send it out or have someone else fix it you can replace the whole pump which is pretty nice and this does have the upgraded hex volt bolts on it the old ones used to have phillips um, head. yeah phillips head on there so that that's good to see on there and Graco is a great brand. It's like the DeWalt of painters supplies. There we go. So, and we love DeWalt, and we love the fact that it takes the DeWalt batteries. That's right. So, let's go ahead and unscrew this, and we'll go ahead and fill it up with some of our paint here that we're going to use over on our deck here. Comes right out. Yep. And these are the bags, and they are flexible. All right, and it should just screw right back on. Okay, so now that it's screwed back on, you want to go ahead and flip that to let the air out. Yeah. And you're going to squeeze the bag, get that air out, you can hear it. There we go, and then close it. And now you have spray and then you have prime pump, so we want to put it to prime pump. All right, so now we got it filled up with paint. We got it set to prime. We're going to put a 4 amp fully charged battery in there. And they do give you the 2 amp ones because it does make it a lot lighter. Uh, you know, otherwise you're going to be getting a good shoulder workout with the heavier battery, but that's what my wife wanted, so. It's not too bad. Okay, so now that it's primed, it's got the battery in. Okay. So you, you hit it for a little bit and then now put it on spray and all right. <laughs> there we go. All right. It is all set to use. All right. So you ready to get over there and uh, start doing the deck? Ready. All right. So let's head over there and give this thing a try. As you saw, pretty simple, easy to use setup and everything. So let's see how it paints. All right. So uh, I was just going to lay down some plastic and just spray and Hopefully not get at anything, but my wife had other ideas, which is better, cleaner, nicer. She taped up everything and, and the plastic wrap and all that stuff, so. Do it right the first time. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead. Uh, it's been a little bit, and hopefully, um, and part of the reason why we did the unboxing first and did the taping here is to let the paint sit in there a little, for a little bit. So hopefully we get a clog to show you how to unclog it. But it's really simple. If it does clog, all we do is turn the tip back this way we press it and it'll clear the clog and then you put it back this way and it's ready to go but without further ado let's go ahead and start getting this done there you go Go ahead and get the front here. Already. All right, so we did a good chunk with just that right there. So let's go ahead and refill it and keep on moving.
All right, so once again, uh, for constant, uh, whatever your PSI for your paint and stuff, uh, we got it set down to two right now, just for doing this, because that seems to be good. Uh, if we turn it down lower, even to one, it would go a lot slower, but two seems to work pretty good for what we're doing. Oh, we gotta get the air out. Yeah. All right, so that happens. Uh, we forgot to purge the air. So go ahead and squeeze that, and you can see, you see the bubbles. Once it stops, air comes out, then we close it. Quick prime, and then we're ready to fire again. All right, definitely makes quick work of it. Uh, only problem with this stuff being close to the house, you gotta be careful, as my wife pointed out. Uh, but man, so much simpler. Put your hand right on it wet blends paint. Into the spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> A little wet. All right, so it's looking good, halfway done. If you ever had to paint spindles before, you know what a pain in the butt they are. Best thing is when you're doing a new build, if they're already out, have them painted before you even put them on or stained. Makes it so much easier, but this definitely saves a lot of brushing, a lot of brushing. <laughs>
painting your hair there, Lauren. Yep. It's all <laughs> in a day's work. All right. Finish her up. All right, so we went through the whole thing and four amp hour battery uh, with the two amps that come with it, they say that a two amp battery will last for a gallon of paint. So, I mean, I don't, we didn't use that much paint doing this. So and we have a five gallon bucket, but we still have plenty of battery and a little bit of paint left in there from finishing the job, which you can go ahead and pour back in. Uh, and then those things are disposable or you can wash them out and reuse them if you want. But here's our deck all painted and done. I think I did a really good job. <laughs> My wife did a really good job. Looks good. We've been wanting to do this for a while. We just had to wait for a dry day to do it. So next thing is go ahead and let this dry and then we'll go ahead and take off all the tape and plastic. But, man, that thing it's works. It's a beast. Works great, right? Mm-hmm. Great. All right, so let's head down to the table. We'll do a quick review, and we'll end it there. So we'll see you down there. All right, so for cleanup, we got our bucket here with hot water. Let's go ahead and throw these in here. And start cleaning this stuff up. So our cleanup, the tip does come right off. You can go ahead and clean that whole thing up. Get all that gunk out of there. And obviously, you can adjust this to wherever you want for how you're going to be spraying. That's how you take that out. That comes out. And you let the paint come out. Then you're just gonna rinse out your filter. That cleans up pretty quick. Then we can put that back on, even though there is paint in there. We're gonna go ahead and fill this halfway with warm water. And then we're gonna put some of the pump armor in there. All right, so we got our half cup war or half container full of warm water. Put a little bit of the pump armor in there. Stick it in here. Put the top on. And then I'll let my wife take over. All right. So. Put it back on, shake it. Ooh, and make sure it's tight. On. Yep, okay. <laughs> Really good and shaking up. You gotta pop this. Okay. <laughs> Same way when you do it with the paint. And you wanna let it till you get water in the reservoir there and then stop it. There you go. Okay, so it's all shaken up and mixed. So you wanna put your prime spray knob down. And then you want to set the setting to 10. Set your setting over here. It's at 10 here. Yep. We already to set 10. it to 10. And then we're going to hold it down for about 10, 15 seconds. Yep. Upside down. Now we're going to switch it over to the spray and do that again. 10, 15 seconds. We have to turn this knob to the unclog, which is like that. Yep. And Reverse. do it again for another 10, 15 seconds. 
That's one heck of a squirt gun. Okay. All right, so all we're gonna do now is disassemble it. Take this whole thing off here. We're gonna pull the screen out here. It's all leaking out. And we're gonna clean this, and we're gonna clean the tips. And it says to put a little bit of the pump armor down in here, obviously to prevent corrosion. We'll put a little in there. And this is just for storing it. And we'll go ahead and clean this out and clean our tip and the screen. And we're gonna put it all back together and it should be ready to be stored. Okay. So we got everything all cleaned off. We got the pump armor in there. This is all cleaned out and dried. We're gonna go ahead and set this to prime. And then we're gonna put this back on. Yep, make sure your cap here is closed. All right, so now that we got that all set up, we got it on uh, primer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hold it upside down and we're gonna spray it for three seconds. Okay, so we're gonna, it's on primer now, so we're gonna go ahead and hold it down for three seconds. And it says to use roughly about two ounces of pump armor. We found that out. All right, now we're gonna put it on spray and do the same thing for three seconds. Okay, so now whatever is left over gets poured out or it says you could pour it back in with the pump armor, but we'll, we'll just dispose of it. So. That's all set, it's all cleaned out, and it's ready for storage. So, and that pump armor prevents corrosion, so we can use this again without having to hopefully replace anything with it. All right, so definitely handy little tool for doing small projects, even larger projects. Uh, but my wife will get into more of that because she uh, kind of took over the project, so. I liked it. Uh, what'd you think about the capacity though? I would have liked it to hold a little more paint. Even if it weighed more, it'd be worth it to have at least like double the size, the amount of paint. So maybe a 64 ouncer. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, probably wouldn't be too hard or there might be something out there right now, a uh, separate attachment that we could put on here, take this whole piece off and just put a bigger one on there. Uh, if there is anything out there, go ahead and uh, send us an email and let us know because we would be interested in that. All right, so, so how did it feel? It felt good. Obviously, it's a little heavy with this battery, but not bad. I could handle it a little heavier for more paint. It does come with those two amp batteries, which will lighten it up, but she yep. wanted the four. But overall, it works really well. It feels good. The trigger's easy to hold down. It's really easy to refill, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, overall, I really liked it. And very smooth, and I, I mean, I, th I think it comes out great. Um, dealt with a, different, a lot of different uh, sprayers and stuff and this thing actually I'm going to be using this on a lot of stuff around here or I should say I will. she will be using a couple it on more decks stuff. to paint yeah and pool deck and yeah so alright guys hope you guys like we're going to leave a link in the description uh, for this Graco Ultra and uh, the other Ultras if you're interested in them and uh, we'll go ahead and show you the finished product so once again we hope you guys like subscribe enjoy and ring that notification there bell. There we go. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, guys. All right. So here we are a couple weeks later. And the deck looks fantastic. Good job, babe. All right. Yeah, look at that. That came out really nice. You like how that thing paints, huh? Yeah. Ready for the next project. Yep. We got it. three more decks we could do. But, yeah, it came out really good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave a link in the description for the sprayer and uh, some of the other stuff that we had there. So we hope you guys like subscribe enjoy and ring that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one
Bye. Right. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.